Martin, everybody was delighted, not only with the result in the Capital One Cup on Tuesday night, but the manner of the second half performance, which really seemed to lift the spirits of Craven Cottage. Yeah, I agree with that, you know, but even the first half, I think we did okay. But if you concede a goal, that's such a hammer blow for the fans, for the team again, you know. Uh, of course, we, we played in a, in a different formation, but I thought it was a very good uh, team we had out. That is why I didn't change, because, of course, you, you think about changing at half-time, but I thought it was more to come from this team, and I think they showed that. But, of course, we needed substitutions to... Uh, to decide the game, but that is only good for us, you know. I think we've got the players, we've got the goals in us. The only problem we've got is if they don't, we don't have the Bentis or the, the Bambatos of this world. And of course, we still got the good players, but historically, they don't have a great record, you know, because they are young. And of course, when you're young, uh, I can't expect him to score 10 goals. Kakanikic will learn his trade, but he still hasn't scored 10 goals in, in, in any league because he's a young player, he's 21. Kasam is the same, works hard. Very good off the ball, uh, energy, uh, he helped me big time, he helped Fulham, but uh, yeah, you need to score goals and Berbatov did that and Ben did that and, and then after in hindsight you could say yeah, that helped us. And Ben's goal obviously came from nothing, which again is, is an indication of his talents and his eye for goal. No, that is uh, when I say we've got goals in us now with Ben, that is true, but if he's not there it's probably different. And, he came on, uh, he scored it against Arsenal, it was an easy tapping, but he was there, he's always mm. there. Uh, now again, you know, we've got a free kick and I had to think back of Danny Murphy, Danny always used to do that and Giorgio did that, he passed yeah. the ball. And that has nothing to do with training because you can't copy that, you know, it's intelligence, it's uh, try to be there where it hurts your opponent and, and that is what Ben did. But don't forget that, of course, we had this, uh, the same situation again, we 2 one up, we played well. I think it was a terrific game for the supporters, but I'm not sure if supporters want type, uh, these type of games, you know, it's always 1-0, 1-1, 2-1. Whereas Rome is 1-0 up under pressure and we couldn't score the second one and they score and that... Uh, Puts everyone under pressure, uh, team, uh, manager, staff, everyone, and, and that is not what you want. But look at all the results in England. It's always yesterday, Liverpool, Man United, it was 1-0, 1-1, 2-1. Even, you know, when you look at us against Chelsea, it was close. You started with Adele Tarap, and everybody can see his quality on the ball, but he's not 100% fit. How far away do you think he is before he can perform at his optimum level? I feel for Adele. Adele is one of the most gifted players we've ever seen. I've ever seen Fulham fans, you know, if you're mm. honest. Uh, if you go to YouTube, you know, it's not only uh, five goals or ten goals, twenty, thirty goals, you know, he's unbelievable talent. And then uh, I thought uh, he had to start because I have to integrate his players. When we took Bent, we did that because we lacked pace up front and everybody will agree with me, we lacked pace up front. Berbatov is different. Uh, uh, I thought we lacked a little bit of um, Dempsey quality on the flank, you know, and uh, of course Kaka is a, is, a, is a big talent, plays in the national team, but he still has to develop himself in a productive player, same as Kasami. So Adel Terab proved with his 24 years of age that he can be very productive, he will set up goals and then he started off against Everton and people were a bit disappointed with him, he, uh, he looked a bit rusty and, you know, He's entitled to, but I have to back these players. I can, of course, I can take them off and put somebody else in, but I don't think it will be better for Fulham in the near future. So uh, he needs time. He, he, needs, to he needs time. But do you have time in the, in the Premier League? Do you have time in a Capital One game or Carling Cup or whatever you want to call it? Uh, uh, with players. Uh, I don't think you have the time, you have to win, you, you need the wins and uh, so in hindsight everything was fine. If you lose everything is bad, if you win everything is fine. Don't forget that even in the final minutes we gave away that chance and Stockdale, you know, did ever so well to you. Uh, we had so many players behind the ball and they still managed to play mm -hmm. that killer ball, you know, and had that cross and and they missed that chance, so that was very good for us. So, uh, But we have to build on that because if you look at the likes of Berbatov up front with Bent, with Adel Terab, Kassam, he's getting better and better because I'm very happy with him, you know, with his development. If you see our midfield, Scott Parker. But uh, you talk about something missing from the flank and one player that has been missing predominantly is Ashkan De Jagger. I know he's injured at the moment with a calf strain, but why, why hasn't he been featuring as much as he did at the end of Lost? Let's be, let's be very clear. If you talk about players from the flank, Dempsey was not a flank player. Mm. He played on the flank, but he scored 20 goals. He scored 17 goals in the league, only in the league. Why? He didn't play on the flank, but he wanted to be at the end of crosses. And he was always there where it hurt it. And 
Kaka is, is, is a real flank player. On the other side, we've got Damien Duff, we've got Ashkan De Jaga, we've got uh, Kakani Klitschna who could play on the other side. I've got Meska, you will get to know him better. Mm. But I need a number one, and that is what I said to, to De Jaga. I need a number one, I need a player who can show us that he's the player. And last year, he had a very good uh, spell. He had 21 games. He was involved in two two penalty situations. He had an assist, but I want more. You know, I want mm -hmm. a Dempsey type of productivity. I want players who can score eight nine goals from the flank. And I, th I expect Bayern Ruiz to do that. Bayern Ruiz always scored over 20 goals in Holland, playing on the right. So it's not about uh, having all these players. It's about a number one who's the best player on the flank, and that best player must score uh, seven eight goals and must have seven eight assists and. As long as we don't do that, of course you've got a problem. De Jaga is, is different. De Jaga was injured, as you know, four months. Came back, wasn't really fit. Uh, I played him all the time, but I thought that uh, he was not productive enough. And then he was injured. Don't forget that he was injured over the last two weeks. So it's not a matter of dropping him. Mm. Of course, sometimes you have to drop players. I had a word with uh, Boating yesterday. Boating was not playing off the Sunderland. We beat Sunderland 1-0. Scott Parker came in and he was out of the team. So, of course, I explained to him that Scott Parker is a big player now for us. I think he's probably arguably our best player. Uh, hopefully he can stay fit. And so it means that uh, Derek has to fight for his place. And that is what I want. I want to make, I want rivalry, I want competition for places and I want uh, uh, big players, good players, mentally good players who uh, will push other players who are in the team and then that will suit Fulham and then we will get better and better and be in a good le league position and I think we deserve to do that because if you look at the results Newcastle we could have scored in the 85th minute and they score uh, West Bromwich uh, won no up the ball was in the net four times they score from a corner kick equaliser you know you lose two points you lose four points in total so I think we are in the wrong position but don't forget that we have been in that position before, you know, but I think we are too good and you will see that in the future with the players we've got. It's only a matter of, uh, yeah, I would say give us time, but there's no time, you know, you have to gel these, these, these results together with gelling the team. I know it's a cliche, but do you think that Tuesday night will have helped with that, will, will have helped with the confidence, certainly uh, at home, lacking a win over a, a number of games at home, do you think that's really helped lift the guys and given them a little bit of confidence? You can only say that after a of Saturday course. match and after results in the next couple of weeks. For me, it's, it's uh, certain that I have to play with Berbatov. I need Ben, for example, I need Bayern Can Ruiz. they play together? They did it towards the end. They can they play together. Uh, everybody can make the judgment, but I have to make the decision and I have to try to instruct the team and, 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 and build the team and go from there. And I feel that if they want, if they know what we need, and that is work hard, because even Adel Trapp, can he play with Berbatov? People say no, other people say no. I took them to get better, because I think it's better to have them at Fulham than not to have them, you know, and say they can't play together. So that is probably our problem. We had to try to find the right balance, and we, in a way, still try to do that. But I will uh, try to hide that insecurity because I, we are not insecure. We know that Berbatov is a great player, Bent is a good player, uh, Adel is a good player. And if not, uh, Kakani Klic is there, yeah. Kasami is there. I think we will get stronger and stronger, but sometimes you need to be a bit patient. And I had to be very patient because I was the most uh, disappointed man in the stadium, but I can show that. But a result against Cardiff and then it's not a bad start to the season. And then it's not a bad start to the season because we will go back for years and years. I prefer to have the problems at the start of the seasons than at the end of the seasons. And and we had a few problems in our history at the end of the season. I don't want that. I want to make the fans happy. I want them to be uh, to trust the team. And I think if you look at the names we've got, although some are a bit old, but I think they're still good enough to uh, to be in the top ten. We'll Easy see you on Saturday. Thank you.